In this video, we're gonna be learning how to draw our first objects through Illustrator. And we're gonna be starting by basic shapes. They are so easy and ready made for us by Illustrator. And we can be creating even more complex shapes via those simple shapes. So we're gonna be going to our toolbar and we're gonna be seeing that rectangle tool in here. And when you see that little arrow in here, that means that you need to right click to see even more tools. So you can be seeing rectangle tool and its shortcut is M. And rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon, star, and flare tool as well. And you can be seeing that little arrow in here that means that you can get these tools even floating outside by pressing that arrow. You're gonna be seeing these tools in here and they will be still available in here as well. We're gonna be starting with rectangle tool by drawing a rectangle and you can be clicking anywhere and you can start dragging your mouse and you're gonna be seeing the size of that rectangle showing in here and once you release the mouse you're gonna be seeing your rectangle is already drawn in here you can be seeing that your rectangle is already drawn with some anchor points in here that one anchor one and two and three and four basically those anchor points are the composite of any geometric shape and even for a rectangle we need those anchor points and we're gonna be learning more about anchor points when we start using bend tool to draw any shapes so basically later we're gonna be using the bend tool to draw via anchor points through our artboard and you can be transforming that rectangle from here to enlarge it or even make it smaller from here so basically that bounding box is to transform that shape or even rotate it like that and even you can be seeing your rotation angle from here anyway I'm gonna undo that via command Z or control Z from your keyboard shortcut now if you pay a close attention this one is not a perfect square and in order to draw a perfect shape you need to press shift key on your keyboard and you're gonna be having a perfect square with similar width and height as you can see on the screen or even if you have a creative cloud version you can be drawing that square and once you're gonna be getting closer you're gonna be seeing that diagonal line or that pink line going through your square which means that you have already a perfect square in here so you don't have to be pressing the shift key but anyway I find the shift key is much more better for me because like it keeps drawing a perfect square from the beginning as you can see and if you want to delete that shape you're gonna be pressing the delete key on your keyboard and it will be deleted and in order to select any of these shapes we're gonna be using the selection tool from here which can be selected also pressing V on your keyboard as a shortcut for that and we can be selecting any of these shapes or even draw a selection area to select multiple shapes like that and in order to unselect any shape you will be clicking outside in any area and also to select multiple shapes without drawing the selection area you can be selecting one and pressing shift and select the other shape and another shift while clicking the shape to subtract that shape from the selection and when I select a shape I need to move it and selecting any shape we can be controlling that shape either to move it around or rotate it or transform it or even change its colors and speaking of color we have two color aspects for each and every shape within illustrator one is fill and the other is a stroke and fill means the filling color for each and every shape and a stroke is that black line going around our shape and in order to change them we have three ways to do that either from properties panel in here or from that control bar to change our color for stroke and fill or even from here so let's change our filling color for that square by pressing on that little arrow in here And also we can be changing our stroke color from here. Let's choose that green for instance And you can be increasing its width from here by that little arrow We can be choosing 10 for instance or even from these little arrows 9 and etc And also if we want to invert these colors anytime we can be pressing shift X like that to invert the colors and if we want to remove the filling color or stroke color we can be using that mark from here which means none 
or either forward slash on your keyboard like that and you will be removing your filling color and let me get that fill again to show you how to remove the stroke color now we are controlling our fill color and in order to be controlling our stroke color we're going to be pressing x to bring our stroke color to front and we can be controlling our stroke color now so we can be using the forward slash and we will be removing our stroke color and we can be bringing that back from here and it will be back the last color we are using it will be always in here and anytime you want to bring that color to default colors you're going to be pressing d on keyboard and you will be having your fill to white and stroke color to black and you will be also getting your fill and stroke color in your toolbar to default again so d will be setting them to default again anytime you would like to be using white and black colors in your stroke or your fill color and you can be switching between them via X and shift X to invert them now let's get them colored again from another way from our swatches in here to show you different ways to do everything now we've got our stroke color to green and I'm gonna be pressing X and I'll be choosing our fill color and we can be increasing our stroke from here to set it to 5 and now let's be deleting these shapes to clear our artboard and leave that square in here then we have the rounded rectangle tool we can be selecting that one and we can be drawing our shape like that and as you can see we have rounded corners we can be increasing its roundness via arrow key up like that to make it more curvy or even use the down arrow to make it sharper edges and also another hint if you're drawing a shape like that and you want to draw it anywhere else you're going to be pressing the space bar and it will be moving around with you so you can move it maybe you want to get these shapes close to each others so you can do that pressing the space bar like that maybe you need to change that color to be more visible i'm going to make this one i'm going to be selecting that one and make it orange then i'm going to deselect that one and choose the rounded corner again and start searching for the center of that rounded corner and start pressing alt key and having our rectangle going from the center and also pressing the shift key to have a perfect square as you can see and now we have that one at the center of that other rectangle so basically drawing any shape while holding the alt key will make the starting point of that shape is the center of that shape as you can see alt will give me the center from here now I'm gonna delete those shapes as well to clear our artboard and then we have our ellipse tool or circle tool if you start dragging like that without holding the shift key you're gonna be having an ellipse and when you start pressing the shift key you're gonna be having a perfect circle like this one I think it's getting more clear to you guys now let's start picking the other polygon tool in here and while you're drawing that shape you're going to be seeing by default a hexagon and you can be changing that geometric shape by pressing the arrows down to make it polygon or square or triangle like that or even increase your angles up to your limits even you can make it close to circle if you would like maybe you need a shape that is quite similar to circle but not a perfect one for your design purpose you're gonna be having that shape easily via that polygon tool and let's hide our filling color and press the X key and make it maybe red like that and now we've got some nice shape also you can be using that shape to get even more results out of that shape if you like we're gonna be selecting our direct selection tool to control each and every anchor of any shape if we would like so that direct selection tool will allow us to select anchors instead of the entire shape which can be done from that selection tool and the shortcut for the direct selection tool is A on your keyboard and I can be dragging that anchor point maybe to here to get that to center and we can be dragging that one as well and that one
maybe something like that it's not a perfect shape but i'm giving you how we can be manipulating each and every shape to make even more complex shape and even you can be selecting multiple anchor points and drag them if we would like to any shape or any area we want and then we've got our star tool in here we can be drawing a star like that one and also we can be using the arrow key up to make it more complicated or even the down arrow key all the way to triangle if we're drawing a shape like that and let's make this one as a star and we press our command key on keyboard and start pulling outside we're gonna be having sharper angles maybe a shape like starfish and if we start dragging inside these angles will get even wider as you can see maybe till it becomes like a polygon and even now it's getting more rounded like a circle and here is another way to draw any shape if you're selecting your rectangle tool for instance and you click anywhere you're gonna be seeing that option box which you can be choosing your dimensions so you can be typing 500 pixels and we can be changing our documents unit anytime we would like but I'm gonna keep it pixels and you can use that link icon to link the width and height together so if you use that one you're gonna be having a perfect square so if I type 500 the height also will be 500 and also I can unlink that and make the height maybe 700 and you're gonna be having a rectangle like that one now I'm gonna be deleting these shapes to show you one more tool which can be really helpful for you when you're drawing your shapes in illustrator I'm gonna be using the delete key now if you have a pen tablet or Wacom tablet you can be using the shaper tool in here which has also another tools in here but we're gonna be using the shaper tool now and that shaper tool is exclusive to the CC version and if you don't have the CC version don't worry about that you can be using the pen tool to draw your shapes now I'm using my tablet to draw maybe a square like that and the illustrator trying to identify your shape and let me draw a triangle like that and you can be adding these shapes together in here and then use the shaper tool with shift in to merge these shapes by drawing a scribble line like that and then they will be looking like one shape however you can be changing the color of each shape separately by selecting the direct select tool and now we are controlling our triangle and let's choose that color for stroke and that color for fill color now you're gonna be seeing different colors intersecting together and also you can be using that shaper tool to draw more complex shapes or even subtract some shapes from our existing shape we're gonna be selecting the shaper tool again and let's draw a circle like this one in here now let's say we want to remove that part of our shape and leave that curve inside we can be drawing our scribble line outside like that and we will be having this area to control its fill color and stroke so I'm gonna be selecting that area and I'm gonna give it that fill color and I'm gonna be making that stroke color into white maybe make it four points like that and also we can be removing some part of our shape like that part and draw scribble line all over the shape and it will be removing that curve from our shape and also you can be drawing a circle like this one and then you can move it inside because like when you're drawing maybe you're not too precise but you can move it later or even you can change its size if you would like by selecting the move tool that tool in here and increase its size from that bounding box and increase it also from here maybe we don't need that fill color in here so I'm gonna be choosing our fill color by mouse in here by clicking on here or X on keyboard and then press forward slash or select that icon to make it clear so I can imagine which area I'm gonna be removing of our shape now I'm gonna add some fill color again maybe that one 
and then you can be using your shaper tool to remove that part if you don't like it and these little areas if you don't want any area you can scribble over that part like that so that was a quick example on how to use a shaper tool and how to add parts or remove parts of our shape now your active task is to go and open your adobe illustrator and start applying what you've learned in that lesson that's how you're going to be mastering the adobe illustrator cc by applying each and every lesson that you're going to be watching in that course and if you have any question feel free to ask me and i'll be more than happy to assist you that's it for this lesson and i'll be seeing you in next lesson